All right, I want to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, today, I'm pretty much spending the day building out a landing page for the Ninth Island. And basically what this is, is that when it comes to online marketing, uh, you have to have some sort of landing page. So number one, we gotta identify my target audience. So the target audience that I currently have right now, uh, focusing on is people from Hawaii moving to Las Vegas, which is the ninth island. So here I've already created the um, landing page for it. As you can see, it's the ninth island. Here we actually have our commercial. Now with our commercial, you notice we've got like a QR code right here too as well. Uh, the reason why we do this QR code is because we're going to be airing this commercial on social media and also on YouTube and possibly um, on TV in Hawaii with some radio ads. Uh, I literally broke this down why locals should be moving out to Las Vegas or actually why locals are moving out of Las Vegas and the benefits moving to the ninth island which is Las Vegas. And we talk about if you have low credit, loan programs, and actually how we can help you sell your home. Then we have like testimonials and stuff like that. The next step and what I'm doing now is that I had to create a domain name and connect this domain name to this landing page. In addition to that, uh, now I am taking this video and literally uploading this on YouTube so that way I can target certain people or certain uh, demographics certain locations in Hawaii with a certain income level that is actually interested in looking at homes in Las Vegas. So what happens is once they watch that ad, there will be a link that takes them directly to this website or they can literally watch this on TV, um, go ahead and take out their camera and take a picture of that uh, QR code. So there's so many things behind this when it comes to marketing, people just don't realize. You have to have uh, the pleasure, right? Then you gotta figure out what are people's uh, pain and how to bridge that together to help them out and have a solution. And that's what we're doing here. And this is all marketing techniques and strategies. As you can see, when we have like uh, little links to click here, here, they're placed in certain areas. Now, I was thinking about doing a class for uh, real estate agents. So if you're a real estate agent out here in Las Vegas and would like to learn how to do online marketing, right? I will literally teach you how to do paper ad clicks so that way people can land on this site, how to use certain keywords, how to use phrases, what's gonna set you apart from one agent to another. And once you get them to the site, how do you get them to add that information? So these are all the things that we're gonna be uh, providing. So let me know in the comments below because there's so much when it comes to online marketing. I really wanna share the techniques uh, and also the strategies. So if you guys are interested, let us know in the comments below. I might create a one hour uh, course that will be for free, so let me know. So today, got an appointment with uh, Blue Heron, one of the uh, biggest custom home builders here in Las Vegas. And uh, they are launching their first program. It's called um, Blue Heron University. And basically what this is, which is pretty smart on their part, they are getting with a bunch of, uh, a lot of agents that do a lot of video home tours or agents that you know sell a lot of homes especially like the high-end luxury homes they're teaching a class to learn their product I feel like this is a good thing because a lot of builders now they're starting to understand that it's best to work with collaborators and I remember before when uh, builders didn't even want us to like film their home they wanted to like hoard everything but now they start to realize you know by collaboration with other people that are on social media just like this 
how much business it brings him. It's just a win-win situation all around. So I think this is like one of the coolest things ever. And it's just good to learn the materials and products. And I noticed a lot of agents now are doing this where I don't want to take credit for it, but I, I felt like I was the guy or the first guy to educate clients on how to purchase a home, things to look out for, uh, certain upgrades and options you should be doing to have that value. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just tooting my own horn. I, a lot of people say that, hey, you know what? You're the goat in the industry. However, I don't know. All right, so this is the first class, first hour, it's Blue Heron. Actually, everything uh, is actually very good. I learned a lot. Very impressed with the whole company and what's going on and the vision that they have. And I can tell you right now, if I'm gonna build a custom home, I feel like it's definitely gonna be a Blue Heron. But things are going really good right now. So we've got uh, another meetup, another class, two more classes, but the second one I won't be able to attend. But I can just tell you right now the lifestyle and what's going on here with all these uh, top producers. Let me show you guys around the room here. Now what we're doing right now is um, we're just having lunch and we're just hanging out. Uh, we got about 15 minutes and we're going to start this class again. But there's a lot of information that I do want to share with you guys with this builder and what you can do. I literally, literally learned so much within the hour that I didn't even know about the company. So there's so much information I want to share with you guys. So stay tuned with that. I'm going to do a full video um, on our first channel. So check that out. Did you get a turkey? Club sandwich. Club sandwich. Club sandwich. We've got a university going on. Oh, let me see your, let me see your name. Oh, there it is, Cowdy. Um, I would like to try this guy, please. The turkey? Yeah. Okay, so we got a turkey, chicken. You know what? I'm going to do a turkey too as well. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So yeah, they like that from the single story floor plan, but they weren't they weren't really uh, excited about the view because yeah. it looked right at the dragon spine. And yeah. They wanted that more expansiveness. People are going to get sick over the. the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joey and Check It brought me a buyer for my listing, a pre and Oculus. And so stay tuned. Hopefully, we get to do a deal together. Let's go. Scavenger hunt and staff. All right guys, so today um, we just finally closed on a home out in Hawaii with uh, one of my clients. Uh, that being said, we also sell homes in Hawaii too as well. Uh, we help a lot of clients uh, in Hawaii uh, to transition from Hawaii to Las Vegas. However, this is actually a standing inventory on this right here by KB Homes. This is a 20, uh, 2089 model, four bedrooms, bedroom downstairs, has a loft too as well. This one is priced just under 500,000. What I like about this deal is that um, I'm getting about $20,000 worth of incentives. I'm using that towards the uh, buy down as well. So we're trying to get the rates as low as possible. But this one is a spec build. And these are the ones that you're gonna get, you know, more bang for your buck, the deal. Then you got the maple cabins, you said, all right? Yeah, they're kind of light, light wood. So as you can see with this builder, they're still using a uh, radiant barrier. But this is a di oh a different brand right here. This is a Tech Shield, as you guys can see. This is going to be the primary here. Bathroom on this side. Hit it. You do. It's good for like job sites. Sure. And it's just a fun vehicle to drive. But this is not like one of those things where. Go. Um. It's not a comfortable ride as far no. as. AC. AC yeah. is good, but it just. The car's not insulated well at all. Okay. A lot of things are popping off for me, which is a good thing, even though we're not making as just as much as money. However, I'm still selling a lot of homes. That's one thing about real estate. Your income is based upon the housing market. But this is something that a lot of uh, real estate entre entrepreneurs need to be aware of, that you know, when, when you're making money while times are good, you also need to be stacking your chips too as well. Because when times are, I don't wanna say bad, cause it's not bad. When things 
start to slow down, what happens is everybody in the industry, everybody starts to lose their income. The whole goal about this is, I want you to think about this. If you're making a certain dollar amount and you are on top of the pyramid within your sector, and let's just say the market goes down, your income also drops as well. However, as long as you are doing better than everybody else, then you're fine. Real estate is so cyclical and you will never always make a steady stream of income. I was able to build a business where even though that the market slows down, I'm still on top of that pyramid. I'm still making money. Unfortunately, it's not the kind of money I was making two years ago. You know, I'm very frugal uh, with my money by, you know, buying, you know, over $100,000 worth of, of watches and, you know, a bunch of shoes. The, the money that you make, you also got to spend some of the money too as well. And you got to enjoy your life. Sometimes people are like, why, why do you buy this kind of stuff? Well, because, I mean, you can't take the money with you, right? You, you got to work hard. You also got to enjoy it. And I realize you just got to stay in your lane and you can't compare what other people are doing to what you're doing. And that's one of the downfalls that I have because I have friends that are younger than me that make more money than me. And sometimes we started off at the same time. Some of my friends kind of fell off. They're not making as much as money anymore. But then I have friends that are like blowing up that making like $30 million a year. And I'm like, yo, what the hell? What happens is you start comparing yourself to others, especially like social media. That's not a good thing, right? And that's something I'm working on. At the end of the day, I'm not perfect. I'm human just like you, right? But what I realize is as long as you can identify these things, that's what makes you a better person. Right now, I have a client that uh, we need to show a property to. We're showing properties on Saturday. I've got another deal that we're trying to put together at seven million. I mean, that's gonna be a game changer. You know, I'm really taking all my money, right? Even though I sold all my properties, I'm taking all the money that I have and the money that I have stacked on the side. And that's another thing. I realized just like stay broke. And what I mean by this is this. I have a chunk of money from all the properties that I have sold and have saved a few million dollars. I'm going to be straight up with you, okay? I'm not touching that money. That money goes into a savings. I don't even look at that. And what I do is I have a business checkings where this is where I run my business and I have a personal checkings where it's a minimum amount for my carrying costs. And what I do is I keep stacking chips, but the money that I make right now, I'm putting back into my business because when people are going one direction, I go the opposite direction. I'm going heavy, hard on the social media. In addition to that, I'm going hard on the marketing for high-end listings at this point because now is the time to do that and I am dedicating a certain dollar amount for a period of time over 12 months I've made a commitment that I'm gonna be sending out mailers direct uh, targeting for high-end properties because I just realized that you know last year we closed what 158 transactions this year I think we're only at 68 and it's freaking August okay now imagine doing 68 transactions at five ten million dollars like you're just clipping off checks 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 but at the end of the day I, I realize I can't do it myself so I have people that are helping me which is I'm like super blessed that you know the team is all for it they know what's going on they see the vision and we're, we're moving forward and, and that's all you can do, especially in today's uh, market, right? But another thing is that I talked about staying in your lane. Whatever you are good at, stay focused on that. Never deviate from one lane to another lane. And I've learned that the hard way. Let me give you an example. I wanted to do a couple flip properties just to try it, which is I made some pretty damn good money on flipping properties, but the problem with it was it took away from what I what I do on the retail side of sales, right? So it, it doesn't make sense. So now I'm bringing it back down to basis, basics, and just really focusing just on my business on the retail side, growing the team, doing more deals, and and that's how we're gonna do it. Anyway, that's my rant for today. So we just got done, obviously touring the 
outstanding inventory. However, my client doesn't know what it physically looks like, even though we were taking a look at the rendering. So the next best thing is to come out here to uh, Inspirata to actually take a look at the model itself. So that way we know exactly how the layout looks and what you actually get uh, with the product. That's another thing. We need to find out what uh, exterior color it is too as well, the elevation. This is it. Another thing that we got to check out as far as like orange peel if it's straight edge cornering as well. Yeah, straight But edge. remember, you're going to get the 18 by 18 porcelain tile, mm -hmm. then the uh, brown cabinets. Now, this is completely looking different from the frame that we actually walked today, as you can see. It's pretty dope though, right? I mean, these are the things that we need to do to help the consumer to really visualize of what's going on, right? It's very hard to walk a frame and see what you're getting. But this is how we take it to the next level. You got to go always go above and beyond. Like, look, client can't see exactly how things are laid out. They digitally can't see it, but bam, you know what? Let's take them to another track that has this model. So that way they have a general idea, right? Take it above and beyond. This is what we do. I yeah. thought today was Thursday. No, it's Friday. What's this right here? That, uh, John came by and I think that's just... Oh, where did he go? I think they went to go get a drink from the car. Oh, why did you bring a drone? Oh, okay. I've got a couple um, things on my phone mm -hmm. that need to, um, that you can upload. Okay. That needs to be done. All right, guys. A couple exciting news. We got a bunch of escrows today. Um, I really hope we get this thing done. So basically, we're doing a deal right now with the Blue Heron. Uh, we're negotiating a deal. I think it's about 6.5 million. Also, I got another offer accepted today. And um, matter of fact, uh, last night we also got another fully executed contract as well. And then I have one more contract to put together. So if everything goes good today, we are going to hit what? Uh, 6.5, 7, uh, 8 million in sales within 24 hours. The only thing is that, look at this. I'm actually number two for the month, which is I really need your guys' help. This is the way to help me out, me and the team. Basically, what you need to do, first and foremost, is hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button because the notification button is so important. So that way, every time we upload a brand new video, you get the notification to watch these cool ass videos, right? And third, which is the most important part, if you are thinking about purchasing home, make sure to check out our first channel. Um, just Google Homes for Sale and just, just type in Chuck It's on that search um, bar for YouTube and uh, you'll see all our video home tours. We have over 2,000 video home tours. And if you guys need a real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, we wanna help you and walk you through the process. All right guys, so we got another contract in escrow. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a home inspection on this home right in back of me. Located out here in the uh, the southwest. Uh, it's a gated community, which is a really nice community. Got my clients right there, just pulling up. Don't shoot! <laughs> <laughs> so Ben, what do you think about the house so far? This looks clean, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It's very well cared for. That's yeah. Hopefully, inspection part doesn't come out as bad but believe it or not um throughout my career i've probably done hundreds of home inspections with ben and i think there was only two properties right ben that actually came out perfect uh, which kind of tripped me out like literally there was nothing wrong with the house and uh, i think on this one we was uh, purchased for 485 brought a chad what's up my man how you Good, good, good. Come on in. I'm gonna introduce you to Ben, the home inspector. All right, I gotta take off across town. I think uh, Ben is probably up in the attic or, oh, there he is. All right, Ben, I'm out of here, brother. All right, hey man, good to see you. So it looks like uh, Ben is just checking the meters right now. But yeah, like I said, man, I gotta drive all the way across town. <laughs> 